Okay, hey there YouTubers. So I'm just taking a little moment, uh, not working on the uh, other uh, cabinet right now. Today's a really nice day and uh, I decided to just do something really quick. Um, I'm not gonna put as much effort into this as I did the other cabinet. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean it off, wipe it down, get all the grime off, and then just scuff it up. Scuff it up so that I can adhere just a new layer of paint. I kind of like this this grungy look from it and upon looking at it I could tell that it was made with uh, reused uh, palette boards. On the back here is some writing. We can get it. See right here. Are the words. That's just some fantastic video editing, isn't it? So, we just do a real simple thing: cleaning it all down. You can see, you got cobwebs and hair all kinds of crud all over it and it had some casters on it they were way too small and they weren't moving too good so I took those off and I'm just gonna wipe off all these little uh, you know dead spider egg thingies and you know coronavirus and all that you know all that good stuff hey man you can't make fun of the coronavirus yeah you know what it's it's no big deal so wipe it down a little bit now I'm using Mean Green. I really like this stuff. This stuff really good. I remember one time I used this on a on a refrigerator that was in a in a smoker's house. And when I sprayed that on there, it just you know, and I let it sit. You could just see the streaks of the old or whatever the heck comes off of cigarettes just flowing right down. It was nasty. You know, this stuff cuts through dirt and grime. It's, you know, it's super strong stuff. Another good brand I get is called LA Awesome. And like its name, it definitely is awesome. Now this is just, you know, simple wear and tear, grime from being in a basement for a while. And you can see just boom, right there. It just wipes it right off. I don't really, I don't really see much point in putting too much work into this, just because it's not like rusted. It's not really got wormholes or nothing. It just needs a little bit of, just a little touch up. That's all it really needs. Clean that off. And the main thing too, you want to get this dirt off so that you can make sure that the paint adheres well. Now, the paint I'm going to be using is a similar color. I couldn't get very close, but Rust-Oleum's two times cover, and this is a seaside, and it's kind of close, not entirely. It's not a big, not a big deal. Now, interesting thing here, you can see where I had the uh, plate there and how the line just, how I rubbed it right off. This is where it was sitting on, that's where it is. So, it's, I could keep it as it is and just go with more of a rustic look, but it, it doesn't hurt to give it just a new coat of paint. I may not need as much as I thought I did. And I kind of want to get rid of some of the gouges that are on this thing. And just cover it up. So it's really nasty. There's all kinds of grime. That little sound you're hearing is, is the wind. A little friend right there. Look at that. Just, you know, that's what you get for working on a blustery day. Maybe that uh, 
Maybe that broom will hit me. Who knows? Put you right here. There we go. Hopefully the wind don't knock you guys over. Now the biggest thing I've seen, we got this newspaper here. I'm not really scrubbing. I could get a scrub pad. But that's what sandpaper's for. It'll get up any kind of inconsistencies with the with the crud. Don't know what some of this stuff is. It's you know look even the this stuff is just even comes off because it's just so loose. That's the other thing why you want to give it a nice buffing. Give it a little give it a little hip sandpaper. It'll take off any of that loose paint which is gonna cause chipping. You don't want chipping when you're when you're painting. Now there's different kinds of paints out there. I bought Rust-Oleum just because that's the main brand they had at Walmart, you know, and it doesn't exactly matter which brand you use, but one thing you have to remember though is that always keep like with like. Now what that means is that some paints are enamel based and some are lacquer based. Now the lacquer based ones have to be kept with the lacquer or else you're going to get bubbling and inconsistencies in your paint job. The reason being is because of how they interact with each other and also the way you clean them up too. Lacquer paints, which is Krylon, Krylon's lacquer paint, and you clean that up with typical mineral spirits. And with enamel based paints like Rust Oleum, Rust Oleum's enamel based paint, I believe Duplicolor is also an enamel based paint. But as long as the paints are the same type, then you can use them. But me, I would rather just stick with the same brand, you know, so if you're gonna use a primer, you know, use the same primer brand as your color brand. That way you ensure that it's all gonna to work together. So this has already got a bit of a, one of those old distress looks to it. Give it a little water just to rinse it off because this mean green also just leaves a bit of a soapy film because it is basically a type of soap. Not entirely sure what's in it. Now, I mean, this color is really nice. You know, it's definitely shining up really good. But I don't really like all these, these dirty marks on it. I don't exactly know where they came from. Not entirely happy. I do respect the person that built this though. The fact that they made it out of repurposed wood. I find it very endearing. Now we got it all cleaned off and dried. I'm just gonna take some sandpaper and try to scuff it up a bit. I would use an electric one, but I don't got an electric one anymore. So. That's what you get when you live with your parents. So. And we're just gonna just do a really quick stuff just to get just so that the paint can adhere. You take it easy, Zeke. Oh, it's Isaiah, not Zeke. Isaiah. Yeah, yeah Isaiah. Yeah. It's not biblical, <laughs> but it's Isaiah. Mine's yeah. biblical too, so. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad with it. <laughs> Let's just hope I don't work too hard on this. I have a very bad habit of working too hard on things. <laughs>
Now, I chose this instead of regular mineral spirits because mineral spirits can leave an oily residue and that can upset the paint. I don't want that. So I'm just going to use straight turpentine, which is gum turpentine. Now gum turpentine is a natural source. It comes from a pine tree. That's why it has a pine saw like smell. The reason it's called turpentine is because historically that was the original name of the tree that it came from. Okay, now that we got everything wiped down with the turpentine, let's paint it. Take this. Hey man, it's getting dirty. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe I don't tell nobody. Dust possibly is on it still. Okay. All right, let's hit it. Oh, man. Can't say let's hit it. We can't give it a whip. You gotta whip it down. Whip it real good, you know. It's white, man. Yeah. Okay. See, we got a little piece of that. Remember, people, always check what you're doing before you fish. Oh yeah, look at that. It just matches it. Now. What I should be doing is going in even strokes. So it looks pretty good.